Welcome, friends, to another thrilling episode of Investigators in Cars Drinking Coffee. I'm your host, Mark Murnan, president of Complete Legal Investigations. I am joined once again by the lovely, charming, attractive, did I say all that right? Yes. Okay, Wendy Strom Murnan, certified paralegal, licensed private investigator, and our very, very good friend, Brandon Perrin, yes. president of the Criminal Defense Investigation Training Council, that's Brandon, the CDITC, and uh, I have a great respect and uh, affection for this uh, fine gentleman here who inspired me back in the year 2000. I think we're just talking about that. Years ago. Uh, who actually inspired me to pursue a career as a private investigator after many years in government service. So uh, we owe a great debt of gratitude to Brandon. And his uh, organization is the Criminal Defense Investigation Training Council, the premier training for criminal defense investigators, both yes. in the private and public sector. And uh, Brandon, real briefly, where, where you were the, did you start out in the Air Force? Yes, I was an Air Force Security Police Investigator. Okay, uh, all right. When I left there, I ended of going to the Public Defender's Office in the 19th Judicial Circuit. Okay. Here in there. Martin County. In Martin, okay. County. Stewart, yes. Florida, the gem of the gold, the Treasure Coast here. Yep. And specialized in criminal defense investigation when I went into the private sector right. and uh, the uh, 1990, 89 okay. area. Okay. And uh, I remember being told that I was crazy to specialize in criminal defense <laughs> investigation. You'll probably remember you were Who's with doing? the uh, federal government at the time, the federal uh, public Right around that time, the state public defender, then the federal public defender. So we were on very similar yeah. tracks. When criminal defense was wasn't actually seen as a discipline, remember? No, no, no. They you were just kind of, they just hired anybody, you know, if they'd yeah. go ask questions. We but were the uh, stepchildren of law enforcement. We had <laughs> to go right. to their training. and We weren't said, the cops. Who do you work for? We go, <laughs> PD. The public department. <laughs> the public department. <laughs> and, then, and then they put us in a corner by ourselves with a bunce cap, remember? <laughs> I do. <laughs> And now, 20 years later, it criminal defense it. investigation is its own discipline, and it is. we go to training, and we receive training that's been specially well, customized. we go to training because you generated. That's right. You built it. I went it. to his training. Uh, you went to his training. Yeah. I went to his training, and it was the it was the premier training for criminal defense Absolutely. investigations. But you formulated we the still component use it method. Today. We still use it on our cases today. The six uh, six uh, step uh, six components. Yeah. Uh, so I highly recommend it. I'll include a link to the CDITC Thanks. below. It, it was all designed to just make sure that when a lot of people in criminal defense, as you guys know, when they come into public defender systems or private sector, they don't have now, many are not all prior law enforcement. No. They don't have any experience. No. So the component method was designed to just give people a template. Yes. A default action plan. It's not something to do that, yes. that would be effective Follow in the, in the um, uh, establishment of a, of, a, of a legal defense for right. clients charged with felonies, which is part of the part of the system. It keeps the system honest and gives it some integrity. Yeah. I mean, the difference is with us. I mean, I think the criminal defense investigator creed is to be impartial and objective advocates of the truth. Right. The lawyers are the advocates. Right. We're the advocates of the truth. They have to rely on us. Right. To we're investigators. I think I one of the like early that. things yep. was. We're just looking for the truth. Right. Right. Remember that. We're not advocates. We're investigators. Yeah. And we did. A, we make we're that. Not social workers. Right. You know, we're here to just uncover the facts that are needed yeah. to know for a, to defend the Sixth Amendment in the United States Constitution right. and demand a fair trial. And that's yeah. our role. The other part I liked about meeting you was you were actually making money. And I did not know a lot of private Remember back when? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, vaguely. <laughs> Welcome to 2020. Uh, <laughs> so, but I was actually excited. You and I, I took you to lunch. I think you and I joined me for lunch. And, yes. and we, I just wanted to, I just wanted to pick your brain because you were the first guy I met who was actually excited about being a PI and actually had a real business and was successful at it. So I, I wanted to thank you publicly. I was comfortable I in the private sector. I, yeah. I found that it allows us to be creative and critical thinkers. Where Excellent. We're, not, yeah. we're not restricted by uh, uh, operating procedures Correct. which have no thought to them. Right. They're just... You know, we're not just, stuck in a uniform. We're not in a bureaucracy. Yeah. Uh, and yet we're free to, as you said, exercise creativity within the bounds of the law. We're, we're seeking to advance uh, a legal defense, not a, not a fictional defense. Uh, so it was very exciting. You, you know, there's something... Uh, you got to consider one factor. There's a reason that the former Soviet Union outlawed private investigators. Yes. You know, and when you think about that, how important that. we are to a democracy. You can't yeah. rely on the press to release no. the truth anymore. No, you really you can't. You know, and so everybody's got a narrative. Yeah. And we are literally experts in tearing apart the narrative. A examining, examining the story to find to find the uh, the, the facts behind it, yes. or what it's established on. A lot of times, a lot of times we substantiate that uh, the officers have done their job, the agents have done their job. And a lot of times we've uncovered stuff that, well, not quite. Yes. Yeah. So that was really quite. And a, every once in a while, we get an innocent one. 
Every yes, every once in a while. <laughs> yeah. Well, better Jim. that ten guilty escape than one of us to suffer. Exactly. Absolutely. Let's go into your view, right? I agree. And just I think agree. when you've cleared, and I know it's been more than one for you guys, no. okay? But one when you two. clear just one, I know. you've done more for society yes. than most people have ever even thought about in their entire yeah. life. Yeah. No, that's true. Because you think of the ripple effect, yeah. you know, of how many of those, people, that individual, their families, that family, that, that, uh, that neighborhood, uh, that, like, as you said, that sphere of influence. In doing so, you yeah. were actually defending your own Sixth Amendment right to a fair trial. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's the thing people forget. Yeah. I know. We're not defending our rights. People ask me, uh, how can you defend those people? I said, well, some of them are my relatives. So it would be <laughs> right? awkward Thanksgiving if Thanksgiving will not. remind you of that soon. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Around the big day. Oh, did you get out of jail? It's so great to see you. Oh, look, did you get out, out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> While you go that's and hide family. your wallet, right? <laughs> Make sure you count the China, honey. That's their family. That's their family. Sounds like my <laughs> well, listen, it's been a great time to have you here. So. Yeah, well, I want to say 20 years I've known you've been at, you know, it should be noted that, you know, Mark, um, Wendy knows Mark's been a, is a founding member of the Criminal Defense Investigation yeah. Training Council. A while ago. He's been one of the first, I believe it was like maybe first 20 involved. First 20? Oh my you know, gosh. Yep, you went through the training early on. You yeah. became a board early certified. Early 2000s. Yeah, that's right. We've evolved over 500 board certified. <sighs> defense I'm not surprised. Are you kidding? Yes. No. Wow. We have uh, military. We have the United States. Army, the Marine Corps, the Navy, the Air Force, we have the federal public defenders, we have state public defenders, the, many of the finest criminal de private investigators in the country pursue we this, share pursue many this members certification. with, with Nally, who exactly. you're also a CLI. Exactly. Um, we have a lot of shared members. It's, you know, and this is criminal defense is our lane. And uh, people who know my motto is I stay in my lane. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's where my expertise is. But right. you've been such a, a uh, prominent, impressive member. You've you distinguish yourself um, as a representative of our not only our organization but our field um, as a leader, as an educator, as uh, just the probably the shining example of what we should be. And that impact I you've agree. made on the next generation oh, it means a you. lot to all of us thank and you. me. I mean, I remain um, a super fan of yours. Well, you're very I really gracious. do. Um, I have the highest respect for both of you. Um, nothing but admiration. Thank I really you. do. Um, I would say peers, but I don't. I wouldn't. The media or the Democrats I wouldn't call myself uh, a peer. You know, I respect you beyond that. So, in that uh, respect, I gracious. wanted to share that we have in the Criminal Defense Investigation Training Council one of the highest awards we can give. We only give one out a year, okay. and it's uh, called Ooh. the uh, Investigator Philosopher Award. Okay, because you're beyond wow. the field investigator. <laughs> you want to be wow. recognized for your thinking. And this is what it looks like. Yeah. Suitable for framing. Suitable. Okay. We um, will frame that for sure. I'm the 2019, good. yes, 2019. It's taken us this long in 220 to get no, to No, let's the just say we brought, we taped this in 2019, <laughs> folks. Really, we're going back in time. Somebody. And we have decided to erase 2020 from the records book. There'll be a big an asterisk <laughs> by it. <laughs> I like to read it because it is that important. Please uh, do. Uh, Investigator Philosopher Award to the following distinguished professional investigator, Mark Murnan, CCDI. Mark Bernan has distinguished himself through meritorious and dedicated service to the discipline of criminal defense investigation as a nationally recognized leader. His significant contributions to the discipline via field investigation, discussion, debate, education, and leadership has elevated him to a position of prominence. Mr. Bernan's intellectual acuity and reverence for truth has left a lasting impression on the next generation of criminal defense investigators. Wow. One of Mr. Bernan's greatest assets is that he recognizes the investigator as an ethical thinker engaged in the process of evaluating all the facts of experience. His philosophy is one shared by the CDITC, a philosophy that declares the investigator as an impartial and objective advocate of the truth. Mr. Mark Manan is a warrior and a defender of the Sixth Amendment, and we're honored to have you in our ranks. Oh, sir. yay! Thank you, Thank you, my friend. Of course, something you can add on. <laughs> this is that fine award <laughs> presented to you, sir. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate oh, this. Wow, this that's is gonna a have a thing. place of Salute. honor. Thank you, my friend. If I had a sword, I would uh, hand it over <laughs> to you right now. <laughs> well, we both have swords. We just don't bring that's them right. out in public. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Society yeah, founds upon that. Nice. Thank you very Look much. I appreciate that. that. That's very kind. And Brandon and like-minded, we want to give you one of these, one of these high-quality. Well. Symbol of affection. <laughs> Don't put it in the washing machine. Okay? Thank you very much. Investigators in cars. Coffee you know, I just want to say, you see, what's great about investigators in cars, that for me, this was totally expected. I just called 
an Uber. <laughs> and this is what showed up. <laughs> like I said, yeah. it's 2020. Well, we have a few things on the side. No, just so how much do, I, do I get my ride to the destination free? Absolutely. Or is that we Absolutely. We're going to the airport. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Well, thank you Thanks, so much. Brandon. Well, it's been always a great treat to uh, have a ride along here and to our very dear friend Brandon and Amy Perrin, who we've become very, very fond of over the years. We wish them the very best. Please do check out the Criminal Defense Investigation Training Council. Those yes. of you who are licensed investigators, I encourage you that if you're part of a state association, you may have already seen Brandon uh, at a, uh, one of your events on Zoom as well. So uh, please uh, contact the CDITC to arrange for some training. And uh, we will... Uh, How we'll... do you contact them, Brandon? Oh, he's got a website. Website. Yeah. What is the website? Uh, defenseinvestigator.com. Defenseinvestigator.com. Okay, that's easy. Com. That's yeah. easy peasy. So uh, we're going to promote that. We'll put that down in the link as well. But folks, thanks for joining us once again. We will see you next episode of Investigators in Cars Drinking Coffee. Make it a great day. Bye.